Yo, it's Herman here, the creator of this circuit bending glitch transition pack. Now, I'm gonna first thank you for supporting me if you bought this, and if you haven't, I hope that it'll be an opportunity for you to see just how easy it is to use. Now, not too long ago, I bought a circuit bender because I've always been a fan of glitch aesthetics and the cyberpunk genre, and I just absolutely love the look that it produced, and it was really fun introducing the analog process in post-production. But the problem was, I had projects that required quick turnarounds or needed transitions often, so it became a bit impractical to always feed the video through a circuit bender and experiment with the timing and glitches for every transition. That is why I made this pack. So for those of you who need high quality glitch transitions with an analog vibe, uh, don't wanna deal with the complexity of a circuit bending setup, or you just need to apply transitions quick, then I know you're gonna enjoy using this pack. The best part is that this transition pack comes with an unlimited license. Now, you might not know this, but a lot of platforms that sell templates will usually give you a single use license, meaning that you can only use it for one project. But with an unlimited license, you can buy it once and use it forever. So you can use these transitions for any project you work on, for as many projects that you work on. Just make sure that you read the license agreement PDF that comes with the pack. So now that you have an idea of what the pack is, let's walk through the project file and talk about how to use it. So what you get are 10 styles to choose from, but each style will have a subtle version and a violent version. So there are 20 transitions in total that you can use. You can simply go into each composition to preview what they look like with the placeholder images. As you can see, the subtle version will be a snappier transition for moments that you want to be more sharp. The violent version is a more intense Tense variation that looks like you turned the knob all the way on a circuit bender. Now let's say you have your footage in and you want to apply a glitch transition, but you don't know which one's gonna look good with your clips. In fact, I don't think I even remember what each transition looks like off the top of my head, but instead of going into each comp and watching the preview and guessing what it'll look like with your footage, you can actually drop your clips into the testing ground composition. Just line up your clips between the cut marker and toggle the visibility of each transition to see what it looks like with your footage. This this is even faster if you have the visibility toggle on a shortcut instead of clicking the eye icon. All you have to do is customize your keyboard shortcuts and find the command for toggle video switch for selected layers. So as you can see, I have it on shift E, but you can have it on anything that you want. Okay, so you've decided on a transition to use and you're ready to apply it to your clips. Now you could just render it out from the testing ground composition, but I recommend making a new comp in case further changes are needed. So just put your clips into a new composition and if you dynamic linked from Premiere Pro, then you'll already have a comp to work with. Just a heads up, I'll be talking a bit more about dynamic linking later in this video if you are dropping clips from Premiere Pro. Now, just drag and drop the glitch transition comp you decided to use on top of your layers and line up the cut marker between your two clips. Now, just keep in mind that the cut marker is only there as a suggestion and it's totally up to you when you want the glitch to happen. Right now, we can only see the glitch comp, so to apply the effects, you just have to click the collapse transformations toggle. If you don't see this, don't worry, just make sure to click the toggle switches and modes on the bottom. But as simple as that, you've got a sick transition that's ready to render out. As you can see, it's really just a drag and drop process and clicking the collapse transformation button. Now, lately, what I've been having fun with is stacking glitch transitions for more intense moments. Now, it's the exact same drag and drop process, but it gives you a unique look if you do have the extra minute to experiment. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is how to use these transitions with a Premiere Pro project. Now, because of dynamic linking, you can easily bring your clips into the After Effects project and work from there. A quick tip though is if your clips are really long, I suggest making a copy of them and then trimming down to the moment that you want the transition to happen so you're not bringing long clips into After Effects when you don't have to. In this case, I don't really have to since my clips are only a few seconds long. Once you're ready, the first step is to make sure the glitch transition After Effects project file is already opened. Then go to Premiere and highlight your two clips, right click and click replace with After Effects composition. Your clips will automatically be imported into the After Effects project with a composition already made and your two clips inside. Now, just drag and drop your transition of choice, click the Collapse Transformations toggle, and you're done. Now, you can either save the project file and continue editing in Premiere with the transition applied, or render the new clip out from After Effects and then import that into your Premiere timeline. Now, I personally like rendering it out from After Effects because I find that previewing through dynamic linking being pretty sluggish. So let's hit Control M to add it to the render queue. Make sure the output module is something that you're happy with, and then choose a place to save it and hit Render. Then I'll go back to my Premiere project and import the clip I just rendered and place it into my timeline. Me. 
And there you go. That's how you use the circuit bending glitch transition pack. I hope that it's something that will save you time while adding an extra punch to your edits. Now, if you're into glitch aesthetics and you could use more assets in your editing toolbox, you can check out my previous pack called Enter the Future, which is a motion graphic pack for the modern creator. Otherwise, feel free to reach out if you have any questions and you can see what I'm up to by subscribing to my channel or just checking out my Instagram. Until the next time, again, my name is Herman and don't forget to have fun creating.